Hello, Leo, and welcome to Blunt Saji Tarot. My name is Robin, and Leo, today we're going to do a What You Need to Know Right Now style reading. So, Leo, let's see what you need to know right now. Let's see if it's silver. Oh, you're between worlds here. Okay. So, you have a decision to make. This is one foot in the door, one foot out the door. So, not quite certain, but certain. Not quite sure, but sure. <laughs> so, let's see what's going on. Let's get down to business. Let's talk about you. So what you need to know right now, there's the stress of this, the Ten of Wands, okay? And Leo, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you would like one, the link is in the description box below. Okay, how it affects you is the Ace of Swords. Your actions to take or advice is the Four of Swords. We've got the Four of Pentacles. We've got 44 here. Four of Pentacles is about stability. It's about foundations. It's also kind of represent holding back, but it also represents going with the flow, being the water, right? Uh, so let's see what's going on, because there's some stress, there's some burdens, there's definitely a decision here weighing you down that you have to make here, Leo. What do we need to know about this 10 of Wands? Well, that yeah, it's time to make this change. <laughs> uh, that much is clear. So you got one foot in the door, one foot out the door. They want you to take that other foot and just walk into paradise, walk into the sunset here. There is the Three of Pentacles. There's the Fool. Whoa. Uh, so, Leo, they definitely want you to end something and have a fresh start here, a new beginning. I do feel, like I said, with this Between Worlds and this Ten of Wands, it, You've been contemplating this, analyzing this, thinking about making this move for quite some time, right? This is a little bit of a journey here. So you didn't just wake up this morning and be like, you know what? I want some change. This is something that you've been waking up every morning thinking about for quite some time. Um, yeah, there's a Knight of Wands. You got to follow your passion. So it's time to leave this behind. <laughs> it's time to progress forward. It's time to end this and work towards your goals, your aspirations. You know, if this is career... You're not being valued. You're not being recognized. If this is a relationship, I don't feel you're being valued or recognized, living up to your fullest potential here with the death and the three of pentacles. It's time to take a leap of faith. It's time to head in a new direction. It is time to, it's time to do what's best for you here. You know, that's the Knight of wands following your passion, very much a, a Leo energy, fire energy, following, you know, going after adventure, something new, something exciting. So it's time to make this choice. It's time to put both field feet out the door here, Leo, and make this change. That's what you need to know right now. And the Ace of Swords represents clarity, truth, epiphanies, ideas, success. So let's talk. Hi, Priestess, baby. Yeah. Okay, hold on. There's some doubt. Okay. One moment here, Leo. One moment. It's just like a realization that you're having here. So, you know, the High Priestess, the Sun in Reverse, the Five of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. So... You know, with the Five of Swords, it's an energy of realizing there's not really any winners. There's not any losers. It's not going anywhere. It's just an energy of this isn't progressing. This isn't going anywhere. I can stay here and just kind of bang my head against the wall or, you know, but it's not happening. Nothing's happening. And your intuitions told you this and letting this go, making this decision, moving forward. You're coming to the realization of, whoa, I should have done this a little bit of uh, a, a, a little bit ago. But with the sun in reverse, there might have been some doubt, some worries, some fears. Could have been limiting beliefs. It could have been self-doubt. But your intuition is telling you that this is the right decision to make. And it is. And once you make this decision, let this go and progress forward, you kind of realize, whoa, um, I made the right decision. You know, you realize where you need to go. You realize what you need to do. Um, and you realize that you're heading in the right path on the right direction. So it's like you've made your decision. You accept it. You're not questioning it. You're not wondering if you made the right choice. You're not doubting yourself or second guessing. It's like, I, I've been pondering this. I'm doing this. Let's go. Let's go. And then we have the four of swords and the four of swords is action or advice. The four of swords is a, is a card of what I feel. It's like moving in silence. It's not really like, let's say this is a job. You're leaving this company. You don't want everyone to know until, you know, <laughs> you have a new job lined up kind of thing. Or if you're starting a company in a business, you might not want to let people know until things are flying through and, and progressing. I get to move in silence energy, but I also get an energy of doing what's best for you, planning ahead, thinking about what's best, right? Contemplating this. Um, but it's like, there's a lot of worry, but there you are moving forward because you're heading to uncharted territories. That's what the eight of wands is. You're heading down a path you never thought you'd go down, right? Maybe you thought you're going to work for this company for the rest of your life, or you thought this would be your best friend until you die. You were right or die. Same with the relationship. You thought this was forever. So whatever this is that you're leaving behind, um, it's an energy of knowing you're making the right decision, knowing you're heading into uncharted territories. It's welcoming in the unknown. Um, and it's, it's also, I feel making that move in silence. Like, let's say you are leaving a job, right? You don't really want your coworker or your best friend here to tell someone who's going to tell someone who's going to tell something and HR calls you in. Leo, 
we hear you're going to work for our competitor. <laughs> you know, you don't want that to happen. Um, I mean, maybe you do, but it might not work out. It's not going to be in your best interest for that to happen. You want to have your plan set before you, you know, you walk away kind of energy. Um, but what I feel here is it's just really trust your intuition. Um, as opposed to anxiety, take it day by day, step by step, right? If you got a task list here, you got things you got to do before you can accomplish this or walk away, create your task list, do everything one at a time. So it's kind of like a go with the flow. It's making your decision, sticking to it, and it's progressing forward into the unknown. You don't know how it's going to play out. That's part of life, right? And it's trusting yourself as opposed to worries, anxieties, and fears. But I do feel this sense of worry, being up at night, not being able to sleep, wondering, um, but look, there's your balance. That's where you're leading. You're celebrating it. So it's it's kind of a bittersweet energy, whatever's going on here, whatever change you're making here, Leo. But you're moving in the right direction, making the right choices. It's a lot of positivity, but there's a lot of worry within yourself and making this choice and making this change. Um, yeah, there's the wounded warrior. But that also, told, there's the page of wands. But the message is, you're resilient. There's the world. <laughs> there's your new cycle. So when you go through these changes, these transitions, that's when you learn how resilient and strong you are. Um, and remember that. And with the world, this represents a new cycle. This represents a big change, but it represents a successful new cycle, right? Because there is the success wreath, the big, the king of all success wreaths in the tarot. It's the biggest success wreath you ever going to see, baby. So out with that chapter, you're ready for a new chapter. You're turning the page. Um, it's time to do it. But there is going to be some stresses and, and but you're coming to the realization that, you know what, I know that this is best and you're not doubting the decision you made here, Leo. So that's what you need to know right now. So let's grab some oracles, shall we? Let's see what they want to say. And uh, we'll get back to the tarot. Spirit guides, what does Leo need to surrender to when it comes to this choice, this path, this decision? Talk to us. Yeah, baby, your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. All right. And the energy oracle message for Leo. What do you want to say here? What do you want to say? Ah, door spirit. Oh, they're telling me to grab another card. Okay, all time. <laughs> Look at this. 23 and then 32. And there's 36. Second shocker, Archangel Ariel, creative. Um, this is really about... I feel like it's like looking in the mirror and just knowing it's time to make this decision. Trust in yourself, trust in your intuition, trust in the downloads that you're getting. Be at peace with the path, be at peace with the things that are out of your control. But to make this decision, surrender to spirit, surrender to the divine. That's the four of pentacles going with the flow, knowing that you're on the right path. You're doing the right things and spirit is leading you and guiding you down this path. Trust in that. Now with this shocker, there could be some shocker blockages, which can also kind of make in decisions, um, make decisions harder to make, right? So it's an energy of doing some chakra work. Just get the energies flowing, get your meridian points aligned and just make sure there's no blockages. It does make it easier to make that decision for yourself here, Leo. So let's get back to the tarot and let's see what other messages spirit guides would like to pass along today. What else does Leo need to know right now? Talk to us. We got the four swords again, four, four, four. That represents foundation, stability, but it also represents your spirit team watching you, guiding you, and leading you. It's time to take action. There's you, and there's the four swords. It's time to stop thinking, baby. It's time to take control and take action, Lee. Yo, um, and there's the Knight of Cups. See this little Knight of Cups poking out? Can you see him sticking his little tongue out here? So this is like an energy of taking control is going to give you wish, dream, wish fulfillment, dream come true, right? If you want to manifest something new. You got to make some different choices. You got to create some change and that's what's happening. So they're just emphasizing no more thinking. You know, the four swords is a card of withdrawal. It's a card of contemplation. It's a card of messages. It's a card of asking spirit and surrendering to spirit, but it's the, also the card of withdrawal, pulling yourself back and meditating. And it's time to get out of that, take control, make this happen. Go after what you want, Leo. It is time to step into the sun. <laughs> and that is what your spirit gods want to say right now. You will be very happy how it plays out because it's going to bring in that foundation, that stability, wish come true, dream fulfillment, and a lot of blessings into your life. So Leo, that's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down. So if you like your reading, Leo, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It helps my channel to grow. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate that. And let's close your reading off today. The yes or no question. Yes or no. The answer is yes. That's what I got, Leo. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.